those youngsters from the Grand Bahama Children's Home have been displaced since Hurricane Dorian damaged their facility. They have been here in New Providence while the home while the home was undergoing some much needed repairs. The group of 30 will soon return home. Community and Social Outreach Chairperson of the International Federation of Women Lawyers over in Grand Bahama, Hadassah Swain, says they are pleased to partner with Rotary to welcome the children back to the island. The children are set to return on Friday, October 2nd, and there is a big celebration planned for their return under the theme, Tie a Yellow Ribbon. Ribbon became very popular in the 1970s as an indication or a reminder to an absent loved one that they were welcomed home upon their return. So on behalf of well, Rotary and also the International Federation of Women Lawyers. We are inviting our business um, community as well as residents that will be on the procession route when the children arrive at the airport and travel throughout the streets of Grand Bahama to the home to dress their, their businesses or their homes in yellow or yellow ribbon preferably um, as, um, as an indication to the children that they acknowledge that they have returned and they embrace them as they finally return back to the island. The procession route will take the children from the airport, um, traveling um, from the airport onto Settlers Way, then onto Coral Road, um, onto the um, East Sunrise Highway, and then up the East Mall. Um, after East Mall, they will be taken on Pioneers Way and then be brought um, directly to the home. Assistant Area Governor of Rotary Darren Cooper says the service organization continues to be committed to lending its support wherever they can and they are encouraging the public's participation. It's along with our Rotarians to drape their business in yellow as well as to encourage their staff to wear yellow on that day so that we can let our kids know that they are welcome back uh, to their upgraded, um, well renovated home here in Grand Bahama. These are our kids um, and we take on that responsibility um, and so it's very important that we continue to lend the support, show the love and so it's important for us as Rotarians as well as um, members of the business community to support the home and to also show love to our kids. Once again, those children are expected to depart New Providence on Friday, October 7th.